And new tonight, South Floridians are left suddenly stunned by mortgage payments. They say their mortgage companies are breaking an important promise. It's tonight's edition of Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier. As you ride through any neighborhood, they're just houses. Unless one is your house. My children grew up here. It's more than a house, it's like everything. As Irma approached, Rodrigo and his family left South Florida. They returned to find their home was fine. Their yard, a mess. The fence fell down in the back. Trees went down front and back. So all of this had to be cut and repaired. As the repair and cleanup bills rolled in, money was tight for a lot of people. And then South Floridians watching Help Me Howard saw the break they needed regarding their house payments. And then they can immediately put you into this forbearance period that allows you to take a break from making your mortgage payments. Rodrigo contacted his mortgage company, hoping to get that break from his $1,700 a month house payment. And that's simply that it would, they would just give me until January. Rodrigo was told he wouldn't have to make a house payment for four months and those payments would be moved to the end of his mortgage. Nothing was put in writing, but each month Rodrigo would call to confirm their agreement. I made at least three calls to confirm this. Then January rolled around and Rodrigo was nearly knocked off his feet. They say that my property is in default because I now owe them like $7,800. Rodrigo reminded them he was promised those four house payments were being moved to the end of his mortgage. Plus, he said he didn't have $7,800. The response? They're going to try to foreclose on me unless I pay the, the lump sum. Rodrigo is now in a mortgage mess, worried he may lose not just his house, his family's home. I would just give it to them gladly, but I don't have it. And, and it's just been a little bit hard to get back on my feet. Well, Howard, we told people banks were giving them a break on their mortgage after Irma. Can they now say, never mind? No, they cannot. If your loan is serviced by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, federal law requires them to allow you to defer up to one year of mortgage payments to the end of the mortgage if your home is in a disaster area, which South Florida was. I first contacted Select Portfolio Servicing, which handles Rodrigo's loan. I got nowhere, so I got in touch with the international firm Credit Suisse, which owns Select Portfolio. They were remarkable. Within minutes, they responded to me. Then Rodrigo says they told him this was a misunderstanding and his payments were deferred to the end of his mortgage. He does have to pay the property taxes and insurance for those months, but Credit Suisse was nice enough to set up a payment plan for that. If your mortgage company refuses to follow the law, go up their corporate ladder and complain. If that doesn't work, contact Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. I don't have to worry about losing my home. Rodrigo has peace of mind again after that call to help me, Howard. I'm just very happy that of the end result and very happy that Help Me Howie got involved. Rodrigo called us Help Me Howie? Hey, has a different ring to it. Now, Howard mentioned how to fight back with a mortgage company. If that fails, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is a government agency that makes sure you're treated fairly. The link to contact them is at WSVN.com under this Help Me Howard story. A problem got you mortgaging your future? Don't defer fighting back. Contact us, because we're money in the bank that you don't have to pay back. With this Help Me Howard, I'm Patrick Frazier. Seven News.